Yeah, I'll slap the shit out of you. You won't do nothing. Go get him, go get him. You won't do nothing because you are nothing. You won't do nothing because you are nothing. You messed up, baby. You messed up, baby. Where's Teddy? Teddy, I need you. Where's Teddy? Where's Teddy? Who are you about him? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Everything. Come on up. Everything. Who are you about him? I ain't got no idea. Thank you. I've seen you in a lot of intense situations, and you seem to be playing it awfully cool. Today, your manager almost got smashed up by your opponent. Like, what, what was going through your head at that moment? Wow, I was like, wow, it's actually kicking off here. He's actually serious. He's actually going to... I thought like the, that story we were sitting on was going to be launched at his head. Right, yeah. Thank God we didn't have tables like with Chisora. Yeah. I don't know. I got to tell you, I don't know what the controversy was about. Like, what is this sparring session? I just got his version of the story. What is going on with you and him and happening in the gym with the sparring? Can you just set the record straight? Yeah, so I did, my, did a training camp in Vegas, uh... Salas was training uh, Jorge Linares and some of his other fighters. So I went, I headed out there and uh, Bermain Savone was in the gym. So we, uh, you know, Sam arranged sparring with him and yeah, we did like two sessions. We did a Monday, uh, we did a session on Monday sparring and then, uh, then I think the Wednesday and then the Friday he didn't want to spar. Well, his trainer said he doesn't want to spar me anymore. And he at the time was preparing for um, Dominic Brazil so I guess I would have been like ideal, an ideal sparring partner. But when I sparred him, he was um, he was a bit lethargic. He wasn't really throwing many shots, and I was just like landing shots on his head at will, <laughs> like long range, like jabs and and stuff like that. And he did about four rounds, I think, each time. And um, so yeah, so I just guess he wasn't really taking training seriously, and it showed in his fight against Wilder that he just got taken out. Was, um, I saw like some of his sparring with his other sparring partner he had, and they weren't really, they weren't really realistic spars. They were just like, oh, this just, um, I don't know, this just like move around like for, for like three rounds or something. So um, that's that's the that's the sparring. Oh. Uh, oh oh sorry yeah sorry sorry. And after that we went to. Um, because you know it's hard as a heavyweight to get sparring, so um, we went. Uh, and continued the camp in, in LA and Brazil wanted to spar me so we went and sparred with Brazil because, I don't know because uh, <laughs> he was there just, yeah, because yeah, I <laughs> needed sparring so um, so yeah, well, I went and sparred him and I, I guess later in an interview uh, uh, Bermain brought that up and also in a, another interview that I, I saw of him he, he said he, you know, after that sparring he took me to school yeah. so I was like, wow, <laughs> he's saying that like <laughs> Like normally, like you don't really don't really say much about sparring, but yeah, that's where it all came from. And I don't know, he's uh, yeah, he's like a mo moody kind of character in the gym. So you know, I, I was like very respectful when I, I went up to him and was like, "You right, champ?" and and all that. And you know, we got a picture and that. But I guess that's just the way he is. But uh, well, listen, man, we spar. Um, it was all over the the news, the internet that he was coming to spar me. And I didn't know who he was. I didn't know, I didn't know who or what. So I'm like, who is this Joe Joyce? And then uh, my trainer went and looked and we, we finally was an amateur at the time or whatever, or, or turned to pro. And uh, he finally got to, uh, to Vegas. And, um, you know, he came and asked us to, to, to work. And I said, I already had three, three other uh, sparring partners at the time. I was fighting in Brazil. And um, we accepted, and then we said yes, and then we sparred, but, you know, it was something about the sparring and something about, you know, his people. So my trainer, my trainer uh, called me that night, and he's like, you know what, they're not here to help us, they're here to help themselves. And it's really his people or his manager or whoever it is that wanted to see where he was at or can he fight or it's like I was, they were using me as a test you know, for him. So, therefore, my trainer said, uh, we're not going to spar him anymore because, you know, uh, uh, we have a fight to worry about and we're not here to help nobody. So whoever we bring in is to help us. So th that was the, 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 the uh, what happened. And uh, we sparred, I took a picture, I posted it on social media. I thank him, I didn't talk any, I didn't say anything about him. The next thing you know, uh, 
whatever his name is, <laughs> started to say things I didn't say. You know what I'm saying? And there's one thing that I don't, that I don't like, or that would get me to uh, to be hot, and uh, it's to disrespect me or attack my character or put in words in my mouth. You know, which I never do. I never, I don't talk like that. And and and. Uh, I don't know. Somebody said that I was going to knock him out and then I'm going to knock uh, uh, Joshua out and stuff like that, which I never said. So I don't know who's speaking for me or putting words in my mouth. I just thought it was uh, very uh, uh, disrespectful. You know, he's very uh, he's very good with his finger, uh, you know, but when, 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 when it's in front of him, you know, he you can see him uh, hesitating. I wish he... he, he he would have used his mouth like he used his finger on online, you know. But it is what it is. I'm past that, so I had to let him know that, 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 that it wasn't cool and it was very disrespectful.